welcome back to Cloud9 Blessings, the channel that brings dreams, visions, and near-death experiences visually to you. I hope that you were all having a very beautiful and blessed week. Before we get started in this video, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe, as well as hit the notification bell so that you are constantly notified when new content is added to this channel weekly. In today's video, we are going to be looking at a rapture dream from our dear sister in Christ, Shana. I am really excited to see what she has seen in her dream. So let's now take a look and see what our sister in Christ's experience was like. I'm back again. I uh, was another dream. Um, this dream uh, is really interesting. So again, if anyone is able to interpret, I know some things are pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, and it's really interesting that some of these dreams, I have them where I'm on this desert, so I don't know what that's supposed to represent. However, um, in this dream, I'm, I'm again on the desert, really hot, looks like, I don't know, somewhere in the Middle East, obviously, Sahara, um, somewhere, it's, it's hot, and, um, there are a lot of people and I'm looking from above I'm looking down and everybody looks like little ants right little dots um I'm a little closer though a little closer than dots and um I see that there and I don't know if they're like it's like tourism or something I'm not really sure what's happening there but um people are just you know going about their day-to-day -day, just kind of you know, admiring the views and what have you. Um, and there's those two statues. Uh, I think they're called like Sphinx or something. Um, those big lion looking cat statues that they have over there in like Egypt or whatever um, were there. And, and they were side by side, but they were like was a large space in between, you know, with some space there. And, um, so all of a sudden these statues started to move literally they slowly began to like get up out of its resting place like like it was really crazy people i'm still viewing from the sky and people are running all over the place in fear of these giant statues that literally just was breathed life into and started like literally getting up from that sitting you know position as that was happening at the very same time people started going up so for a second obviously I'm on the Ooh, ground I can God. see all the, all the chaos but however I'm, I'm viewing more from the sky and as they are getting up and things are just they break out it's chaotic people like I literally like I was okay so I'm still on the ground at the same time that I'm seeing this stuff like my body I'm physically on the ground and I see myself rising up and other people are rising up so as we're rising I look down and obviously my clothes changed they're they're, they're it's like white kind of like a white I don't say robe but it's just something white type of garment thing or something and, and we're all just going up going up going up while all this craziness is happening on the ground um that was like so it just felt so real and um yeah like that that was that was that um I also want to share and I think this is part of another dream um, I remember I want to say in this dream I I ran into my brother and my, my younger baby brother and we were um, we ended up in this lounge type of thing and it was very eloquent it was it was um elegant it was it was quiet they had they did have like a really pretty piano and you know just like a like a lounge back in like i don't know um some royal type thing right it's nice and, and and cozy and i remember asking my brother like hey have you seen you know mom um and 
you know, for guys, you guys who don't know, like, you know, my mom didn't really raise us too much. Um, when we were really, really young, yes, but my grandmother raised us. So, um, and he was like, no, I haven't seen her, you know, let's go ask God. So I was like, okay, cool. So we're walking, we're walking, we're going, we're heading toward to talk to God about it. And he was in this gigantic, not even space, I mean room, but like a space. And um, I saw his throne, I saw the, the stairs like leading all the way up. And then there's like kind of like a chair type of thing um, where he mm. was sitting. But obviously we couldn't see it was only just like radi. it was like rays there were it was just light like you couldn't even try to make any type of image or no feet no i didn't it was just we just knew he was there and he was sitting on a throne um but there was this lady at the bottom of the the throne the bottom of the stairs and she was like kind of hunched over kind of you know with the little hood you know kind of remind you of the little red um the snow white oh you know which lady with the old little hood so we was like well you know let's go ask you know this lady um if she's seen our mom because we knew we were in heaven by that point and um but it just seemed like a regular place as if it was here right and so we we go over and we top her and we was like excuse me have you seen our and when she turned around it was our mom and so that was really 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 reassuring to us you know that she she had made it um but yeah that that's kind of what happened with that um the the, the catching up the, the rapture i would have called it um another um kind of dream at another point so it's like a three and one um we were caught up but we all were waiting in these long lines like and it was so long but it was like Ooh, almost wow. inside of a kind of like a building if you will um and we all were like in our regular clothes you know look like each other and everything and we're just one by one everybody would step up and go through a metal detector as if like a fire um an airplane type you know airport type thing right um, and so we would, you know, step up, they'll go through and their outfits would change into white robes, like a whole line. I mean, there were so many metal detectors, like, I mean, as far as I could see, that was all going in like a horizontal line. And there were people like security guards kind of like, but like on the, you know, waiting, just making sure that, you know everything's been scanned and, and we're good to go and as soon as we walk through whoosh our, our, our clothes will change the next row of people will step up whoosh our, 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 our you know our clothes would change into like white kind of garments and um, I thought that was really fascinating so I, I just wanted to share that with you guys as well alright um, until the next time if you have any questions or um, comments concerning uh, those dreams, uh, please let me know. Have a blessed day. Bye. Thank you so much, Sister Shana, for sharing those two very powerful dreams. You saw some amazing things, including the catching up and then also seeing people being transformed. How amazing. It is such a blessing to know that Acts 2.17 is happening right now and many brothers and sisters in Christ from around the world are seeing many things like this so beautiful and such a blessing that we will be that blessed generation to see the Lord return. Our Sister in Christ Shana's channel information is in the description box, so please head over there and subscribe to her, especially if she has more dreams and shares more updates. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video today, brothers and sisters, and have a very blessed week.